put up Dax Milne. I think he's the most underappreciated player on the BYU offense. It's not going to take him long to move himself out of that category because everybody will be saying his name this year. Former walk-on term scholarship receiver, Jerem. Yeah, he he was a guy that uh, had a little bit of a journey getting here. He's had uh, dealing with uh, you know a mother with who's overcome cancer. We'll explore that story uh, in Deep Blue next week. But he's expected to be a top three receiver. And uh, here's my conversation yesterday with the junior receiver, Dax Milne, on the Deseret First Credit Union hotline. All right, Dax, listen, uh, when I was in high school, it was tough for me to talk to Bingham guys, but you seem like a guy I want to talk to, but I'm guessing that you probably went 4-0 against Copper Hills in high school? Uh, I, for sure, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even have to think about it? Yeah, it happened. Uh, okay, let's, let's talk about you. It feels like you just got here, but you're actually a junior. Um, walk people through your journey to get to BYU, because originally I think it was, what, Weber State with Fessy Satake? Yeah, mainly Weber State and SEU came in uh, later, but you're right. It was Fessy Satake that was uh, recruiting me at Weber, and I did have some other preferred walk-ons, like at Utah and Utah State as well, and some other military offers. Um, but once Fessy got moved to here at BYU, um, I took a visit here, and I just – it all felt right. I wanted to play for Fessy, and and that first my freshman year, just kind of kept my head down, worked hard, and and tried to just make as many plays as I could and practice and stuff. And it all uh, it all worked out, and in the end, and I was uh, able to get a scholarship. That's a bit of a sacrifice, obviously, uh, going from hey, I have a scholarship at other schools to walking on at BYU. But I've seen pictures of you in Cougar gear from when, you, when you were younger with Bronco Mendenhall and your brother Dallin. Uh, yeah. It feels like you've been a BYU fan for a while. Was this something you always wanted to do, be at BYU? Um, no, when I was younger, we'd you know, go to the BYU camps together, me and my brother. But I was always uh, a Utah fan at heart, uh, always growing up. And then it wasn't until I got here that it, I changed over, and now I, now I hate Utah. So. <laughs> just a couple of ex Utes, you know, uh, fans, Wilson to Milne, right? Yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay. Let's, let's talk about your development too. So you, you said you kept your head down, you're into scholarship after your freshman year. And then last year you, you had some amazing catches. USC comes to mind. South Florida comes to mind. Utah state comes to mind. Those are big time catches. What, what's been your favorite catch so far? Oh, um, my favorite catch I think it was uh, it was USC's. It just as soon as I was uh, as soon as I caught it and looked over and I saw that I had scored and the crowd was going nuts. It was just nothing like that feeling. I don't know. That that was my favorite one. And then you do it a few weeks later at South Florida. I mean, it's on the other side of the field. It's left hand this time. Uh, walk me through that one. Yeah, that one was it was a little wild. I. I didn't know if Jaron was was gonna look my way. I'm pretty sure it's Jaron and and um, when I ran my my go route, I looked up in the air and, and I saw the ball was up in the air going towards me and and um, the DB was actually in pretty good position. But right at the end, he grabbed my right arm and I just had to use my left. And thank goodness I was able to hang on to it and um, and then I just I was it was a way game, so I just heard the our sideline going nuts and. And so it was, it was just fun. Not bad in an NFL stadium too, right? Yeah, that was cool too, yeah. You're one of the incumbent three receivers expected to have a big year. Obviously, Neil Powell was back. Gunnar Romney is a junior now and with you. What do you guys as, as a trio feel like you need to bring in terms of leadership and experience to this group? Um, I would say we first we need to bring energy. Um, it's kind of been a big point for us uh, as in, in practice. Um, it gets hard during, you know, these fall camp weeks where no, we're not playing a game. And so it's hard to find energy. So we've been making a point to bring energy. And, but for the games, I feel like we need to bring uh, toughness because I think once um, other positions on defense or offense see us uh, being tough and whether it's making tough blocks or making tough catches, contested catches, I feel like that's pretty contagious in um, – it makes other people want to play hard and uh, play well. So I think that's what we need to do. We're talking to junior receiver Dax Milne here on BYU Sports Nation. You're not just a receiver. You're the starting punt returner as well. What's right. your favorite part about returning a punt? 
I'd say for sure not when it's when the ball's in the air because that can get a little scary. You know, you got to look up, <laughs> look up and down uh, as the players come at you full speed. So I guess my favorite part is just running with the ball and just doing what, uh, doing what I can do. So you got to be short-handed to be the punt returner. But in terms of receiving the ball, who's the best? Uh, who has the best hands on the team, in your opinion? Hands. Um, I won't give a, a number one guy. I'll give a top three. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Matt Bushman. I'm gonna include me and Gunnar Romney. I'd say that us three have the best hands on the team. Let's talk about Matt for a second. Certainly a massive blow, not only physically, but it seems like emotionally to the team. How have you guys coped with that uh, this week? Uh, yeah, it's still it's still pretty fresh um, as far as coping goes. When it happened, it was devastating. Uh, there's some guys emotional about it, and um, but so far, I think we're starting to just realize that like. Yeah, it's it's terrible. Matt was a huge part of our team and great guy, and you just hate to see it. But we we're realizing that we can still uh, make plays and win games without him. So we just just got to do it differently. Do you feel like the receivers have a bigger role in that since the tight ends are so young? Yeah, yeah, I'd say the receivers are kind of taking more of the of the load after that injury. Let's talk about Navy. Everyone focuses on the option and the flex bone offensively from Navy, but defensively, what sticks out about what they do? I think what sticks out about their defense is they're not afraid to to go cover zero, which means they're blitzing everyone and they're going one-on-one -on -one matchups. You look in your chops thinking about a cover zero? Oh, yeah, I love a cover zero. One-on-one -on -one matchups, all that stuff. Are you the guy that goes back to the huddle and says, hey, Zach, I was open? Or does he just know <laughs> you're going to always – assume that oh man um yeah i don't know i'll i'll usually save it until we're uh either on the sideline or and I'll, <laughs> we live with each other so i'll talk with them at home like hey okay. come on dude you know i was open there so <laughs> is their roommate target bias <laughs> i wish but no <laughs> You're like dude we're roomies like i did the dishes exactly. for you. throw me the ball Go with the rock. Come on. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's funny. Who's who's next to you in the locker room? Who are your uh, teammates on the sides of you? I got my guy Braden Cosper, who I went to high school Bingo. with. So, and then um, Caden Haas. He's a D lineman. So, awesome. Used to be a center, right? Used to be snapping the ball. Yeah, now it's switched over. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're gonna feature you on Deep Blue next week. Your story is very compelling, not only personally, but. Uh, your mother, who has uh, overcome colon, ca uh, colon cancer, she is a tremendous warrior. What has she meant in your life? She's, she's meant a ton. I'm sure as uh, many people would say the same about their mothers, the huge part of everyone's lives. And I'm just grateful that I have one. And, and she's kind of just become my why in, in what I do in school and, and definitely football. I just love making her proud. So. And I got to shout out your brother, Dallin. He works with us. He's a student production assistant. But BYU fans may remember him from the Gonzaga game. He's on the first row of the rock, and he's about to jump over, and he just falls backwards pretty hard. It, luckily, he was okay. That, that was, that was uh, not top 10 moment, right? Hey, I'm just glad I, uh, some other people noticed it because that, that was hilarious to see him just fall back. And it was funny because all my friend, the other uh, people around him were my friends too, and – and they, during the video, when I saw him, they just didn't even think twice about it when he just fell back there. But then afterwards, we were all just laughing. It was so funny. They were getting ready to storm. They weren't focused on, uh, you know, the yeah. guy that fell. Yeah, right? they were so excited to storm. Okay, let's wrap it up with this. Monday Night Football, man. This is maybe going to be the game that's been most viewed in BYU football history. The opportunity is immense. How excited are you for the opportunity to play on Monday Night Football on ESPN to open the season? Uh, super excited. It feels like almost like NFL, you know, Monday Night Football. And, and yeah, I've kind of been hearing estimated numbers of how many people are going to watch. And I hope everyone watches. It's, it's going to be a, it's going to be a good game. Well, Dax, best of luck. Enjoy the trip. Uh, stay safe and uh, good luck against Navy. Appreciate it. Thank you. Dax Milne on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline. Deseret First, you know why we show how. His